hockey tips, reviews, figure skating stuff. What do they got to do? Like and subscribe. Just a bit. This is one of our coaches, Andre Zarkov. So he comes in just like a lot of other coaches and says, can you sharpen this just a little bit? Or as my son used to say when he'd ask for ice cream, I'd say a little bit. And he'd look at me and say, a big little bit? So it doesn't really work that way. When you sharpen a skate, the hollow is the same. So he gets half inch hollow. You can't sharpen it a little bit half inch because it's still going to be half inch hollow. And you're still going to have that same you know, curve on the inside. Uh, one of the things I mentioned before is I never, ever sharpen figure blades that are uh, cold right off the ice. The change in temperature has cracked blades before, so I just take a heat gun and slowly heat up the steel a little bit before I want to put it on the wheel. The last thing I want to do is crack a blade. So these just came off. Andre skates, he demoed John Wilson, the new lightweight version Phoenix. What'd you think of the Phoenix blade? Outstanding. So we have an outstanding review. Um, from one of the very few that has tried this blade. So John Wilson wants this one back. I think they heard. Glides easy going. And what? You can do tricks on that. I mean, this is like really. You can do tricks on it. So he likes half inch, so we're gonna throw it on a traditional jig. Unlike Matrix skates, he's got like no blade left on these things. He needs he needs new blades for sure, because these are worn down quite a bit. So we're gonna check our Blackstone wheel. I haven't been in here today yet so I'm gonna look at the wheel and I don't know if you can get that in there but this is 3 8 so 3 8 is super sharp he doesn't want super sharp he wants half inch so we're gonna take a half inch wheel a spinner and put it on there and fire up the machine in order to get the 3 8 hollow that was on there off of there we just gotta gently shave this outer wheel to a half inch hollow. That's gonna leave a lot of the wheel all over here, so we're just gonna wipe off a little bit. Now we're gonna do a test mark to see where the wheel is hitting on the skate. So, if we look at our test marks, this one you can see is hitting a little bit high. But this one you can see, you can barely see it because it's right there, it's hitting so low on the blade, barely touching it. So we gotta move this side down, this side just a little bit up. I can tell you right, this one's still cutting low, but we'll look at it. See that? Much better, but still low. Perfect. So with figure skating blades, you want to maintain the same consistency all the way across. So this is a John Wilson um, Revolution blade. I mentioned before, Revolution blades are always up, you know, bent slightly towards a little bit. And you can tell when I sharpened it, it was right in the middle all the way here and then cut a little bit low here. It actually goes like this. So the wheel goes straight across. The wheel goes straight across this way. So from here to here isn't getting sharpened. So either the edge came in here completely uneven or the blade's torqued. I sharpened them last time, so I know they're straight. So it has to be torqued. And I know by sharpening the skates you know, 25 times, 50 times or whatever, that his blade is torqued just like most of the reps. So we're gonna do a couple of passes. And then for this one, I know it's cutting a little bit low in the middle. So I'm gonna have to adjust a little bit, go down a little bit here and down a little bit there in order to catch that top side. Now I can see that it's cutting on the top side of the wheel, which is good. So I'm gonna do a couple passes. The key here is not to leave an indent right after the toe pick. So if you watch the color of my sparks, they're gonna be pretty much consistent all the way across. If your sparks are consistent, it means you're burning the same amount of steel on the toe than you are the heel. So you're not gonna change the rocker at the skate anymore. So I have a good backdrop up here. I like to look at my skates. I can tell you, oh my God, this blade's, this blade's torque. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher on this side because we're a little bit off. So, Andre's in the background yelling at me. He's like, I gotta get back on the ice. So 
I can tell that one's cut pretty good. This one's good as well. So I'm gonna take a last look. Nothing left on the edge. I'm gonna take a look at the edges. I gotta go a little bit more on this one because it'd be nice if they came not bent. I like it. He's ready to go, so give this one back to him. Get him back on the ice. Just heating up his uh, second blade before I put it on the wheel. I just want to mention, coaches are way different than skaters. I mean, I see Andre all the time walking around on the tiles out front talking to parents. Um, you know, they don't really care about their edges, how sharp they are, because they're not, you know, competing. They're not doing any real tricks. But if they end up getting themselves to the point where the skates are so dull, that they can barely stand up on the ice. And when that happens, that's when they bring him to me. He's laughing over there, because he knows, he waits till the last moment, this guy. He's like, you know, he's walking around in the parking lot. I see him walking everywhere. And then he brings him, he says, I can't skate, I can't skate. And I said, yeah, well, that's because you're walking around. The, it's because you're walking around in the parking lot. Ooh, that's a little high. I can just tell by looking at the top, top side. It's gotta be a little high. You don't want, you never want to do your test bars too far up, because, that's how you're gonna keep doing that in down. A little high on both. We're in the presence of greatness, by the way. Florida Panthers employee, Trivia Thursday contest winner, Adam Lieberman just walked in. I did have a respectable fourth place finish, but Adam was just too good for me that day. So this one is the same as the other one. It's cut low in the middle and then full on the toes and the heel, which means, shockingly, that this one's torqued as well. So we're gonna get some passes here to get to the front and the back, and then take a look and see how bad it's torqued. This one is definitely not as torqued as the other one. Only in the front, it looks like needs to be moved a little bit. Try to do the same amount of passes on both skates, although a lot of the time that's difficult because one skate might be worse than the other. Figure skaters, the majority of them land on the right foot. So the right blade, a lot of times, is a little more cheat up than the other. So you try to do the same amount on both in order to burn the same amount of steel so you don't have any of the blades, but a lot of the times that's not possible. That's possible, but I don't really need to do it. So I can tell by the pattern of my sparks here, I'm cutting the top and the bottom consistently all the way down the blade. So we'll do one more and then take a look at it. That looked good. We're good, even with a little bit of torque in the blade. He's ready to get back on the ice. I don't stone the revs because you wipe them with a towel really good and then feel the edge. There's no burrs on there, so. Ready to go? Yeah. Spasiba. <laughs> so, a quick fix in figure skating. He comes in, just needs him done real quick, and these guys wait way too long to get them done. So they say between, you know, 21, 27, 30 hours, somewhere around there. Uh, I think that's a good rule of thumb, but I think consistency, if you get them done every third Friday, just set, a, set, set your schedule, put a, note, put a note in your phone that says, every third Friday, get your skates done. Even if you don't feel like they need to get done, you know, just get them touched up, and that way you're never going to get to a place where he's at right now where he can hardly skate because the blades are all rusted on the bottom and he has absolutely no edges front to back. So uh, for more information on videos, figure skating, hockey, quick fixes, hit the subscribe button.